Hi, everyone. Welcome to this web update. I'm Ken McLeod. And I'm Katie Brace. Here are some of the stories making news. Boston's so-called free speech rally has come and gone without any real violence. A small crowd of right-wing demonstrators gathered at the Parkman bandstand on the Boston Commons, surrounded by a much larger group of perhaps 40,000 counter-protesters. Hundreds of police officers kept order, and their toughest challenge might have been when some protesters tossed bottles of urine at them. 27 people were arrested, but the event was largely peaceful. A Weymouth woman has been found stabbed to death in her apartment on Lake Street. The body of 33-year-old Michelle Clark was discovered shortly before 4 this morning after a friend asked police to check on her. She does have a young son, but he was staying with relatives overnight. Clark was apparently living there with her boyfriend, but police have not publicly named any suspect. Heavy rains on the Cape have washed away the parking lot of a popular restaurant in Wellfleet. A sand dune next to the Cahoon Hollow Beach caved in, taking down a parking lot to the Beachcomber restaurant with it. One car was swallowed up by the sinkhole that resulted from that. Crews managed to pull the car out. No one was hurt, and the restaurant was not affected. The Patriots are in Houston tonight for their second preseason game. Several of the starters are expected to play, including quarterback Tom Brady. The Texans had the best defense in the league last year, and the Pats have been practicing against them all week long at a resort down in West Virginia. Well, many of us got rid of those showers by afternoon, although they stuck around on the Cape for a while longer. And the humidity stuck around, yes, too. And tomorrow, though, it looks like much better for the summer days to come. Let's check in with meteorologist Barry Burbank. Yes, Ken and Katie, we are in for some nice weather, but I got to show you some of these rainfall totals. They're just absolutely stunning. What happened on Cape Cod, much of the New England South Coast in the early morning hours, much of last night. These totals were crazy because it, ra it rained from about two and a half to as much as eight and a half inches of rain. We didn't get the highest total on here, but Orleans, 7.17. Dennis, about seven inches. East Ham and Brewster, six and a half. Got a couple rep other reports from East Ham, which are much higher than six and a half. East Harwich, 5.68. That was something else. Caused a lot of flooding there in the overnight hours, and some people said it's the most intense rain they've ever experienced, with also thunder and lightning down there. It did finally clear out today. We got temperatures back up into the 80s, except right along some shore roads, some local sea breezes, and the dew points have dropped. The humidity is uh, relaxing on us right now. Instead of being in the 70s, it's dropping in the 60s. That's not really dry, but it will turn a little less humid coming up for tomorrow. Should be fine for the Falmouth Road rates, but still a little bit muggy in the morning for the 12,000 or so runners that's going to be involved in that as clouds and sunshine will take over about 75 degrees at 9 a.m. And your high temperatures tomorrow should be mainly in the middle 80s, around 85 or 86 degrees, but there's a lot of hot weather in the country, and that's coming our way. It's going to arrive here, certainly on Tuesday to give us our 12th day of the year in Boston of the temperature over 90 degrees. There is a system coming in from the west tonight and will only produce some patches of clouds and a few isolated showers mainly out to the west. But as we get in tomorrow, you can see lots of sunshine. The temperatures go in the 80s. The high tide occurs uh, in the morning about 1030 or so. And here's your seven days ahead looking like we will get that 93 on Tuesday. But for eclipse day, for the afternoon's Viewing of the eclipse should be fine on Monday, 87 degrees. Looks like it'll be cooler at the end of the week after a few showers on Wednesday morning. That's your forecast for now, Ken and Ketty. All right, get out those special glasses. Thanks, Barry. That does it for this update here on CBSBoston.com. We thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Have a great weekend.